is my 24f neighbor 27f into me or is she just being friendly how do i know if she's gay update update post is now locked i can't believe so many people were interested in us thank you again for your support comments and messages hi all i can't believe i'm asking for advice from a bunch of strangers on the internet but i don't really have anyone i can talk to about this sorry for the incoming essay but i guess i need to give history i bought my first house in september last year it was an odd time but everything just fell into place it's quite a small village and everyone is really friendly so i got to know my neighbors soon after moving in yes socially distanced then i met my over the road neighbor let's call her l can't describe it but it's the first time i've ever met someone and been lost for words and my heart was racing and just thought om oh, you know so after i blushed my way through a welcome to the village type convo we only saw each other for a wave and hello for a few days to help kind of settle in i had my dog b with me for the first few weeks during this time there was a massive increase in dog thefts in a nearby town not just from gardens but literally wrestled away from people if i'd have been working furloughed off and on since march then I would have taken B back to mums but since I was home with her all day she stayed. So the local police advise to not walk dogs alone but we go out twice a day, a 10k run in the morning and a few miles walk in the evening. So obs this scares me, but at the same time she is honestly a pain in the ass and gets upset if she doesn't go for a run and needs to be tired out so I'm kind of stuck at this point. Then along comes L. She knocked on the door and offered to come with us as she'd seen B and me in the evenings and every Everything kind of spiraled from there. I told her about my morning runs but she didn't really bite so I thought nothing of it. Then a few days later I bumped into her on a run, so she started joining us on those too. A few months later and we are spending more and more time together every day. It has now progressed to a run early morning, afternoon coffee, dinner most evenings and then the evening walk. It just seemed to happen without me really noticing. I didn't read into things that much as I don't want to get my hopes up and ruin anything until another neighbor commented about how much time we spend together and how it's nice to see you young gals getting on and winked. She actually winked at me. I asked her what she meant but she just laughed and said you know what I mean. And now I'm looking back on things and wondering if she could like me too? Here's some reasons why she might like me. I went running along the same route at the same time for nearly two weeks before I happened to run into her a few days after I told her this. I make her a coffee every afternoon, L is WFH, and take it over in her fave mug. She says I make good coffee but I'm pretty sure I saw a fancy coffee machine the first time I went round. It's not there now. L carried on running and walking with me even after B went home. I told her she was going back to mums and she said well I'll have to make another excuse to join you and then we just carried on every day. She has tried really hard to bond with B. B is a very anxious dog and is scared of everyone except me and mum. L bought special treats to give her every day and has been so amazing with her and never tried to force anything. When I asked her she said it's important to me that she likes me and is comfortable. B actually fell asleep between us on the sofa yesterday and it just makes my heart skip a beat guys. She invited me to the zoom quiz she does with her friends every fortnight or so and they were all like oh so this is who we've heard so much about. We realized we had become each other's support bubble. Elle asked if I was meeting anyone else and I said no, she said she was glad she had me all to herself. We gave each other quite personal Christmas presents. Like, it actually made me tear up it meant so much to me. And she bought stuff for B! Exclamation mark. Reasons why she might not like me. All the reasons above but that she's just doing them because she's a fucking great person and we're friends. It might sound dumb but I'd kinda need your help guys. She is the just the most incredible person I have ever met and I really really like her but if she isn't gay or doesn't feel the same I don't want to lose her friendship as she has become such a huge part of my life. I genuinely have no experience with these kind of things as I went to quite a strict all girls school. 
So it's not as if there were any relationships around me as a teen and then I went to a very small uni, eight of us on my course. I guess another reason is that I've struggled with anxiety and depression for the past 10 years, as well as my weight and working on my self-confidence, but I can say that right now I am the happiest and healthiest, both mentally and physically, I have ever been. I've only just really become comfortable with the fact that I'm gay and I have never really told anyone in real life but I don't think people would be too surprised lol. I don't have any close friends as no one stuck around when I was really struggling with my MH a few years ago so I can't discuss this with anyone Earl. So I need your advice, how do I find out if she is gay? And no, I don't have the confidence to just ask. What if she says no and I ruin everything? She has never mentioned anything about past relationships and I'm pretty tactless so not sure how I could naturally slip it into the convo. Like, hey tell me have you ever had a girlfriend? Do you want one now? Lol. And how can I make a move without really making a move so I don't ruin things? Too long didn't read, don't know whether my neighbor is gay and into me or is just really friendly. How can I make a move without ruining our friendship. Edit. Okay guys, thank you so so much for all your support and encouragement. You've all given me a lot to think about. I think I'm going to casually slip some gay stuff into conversation and see how she reacts. Then bring up the neighbor's comment like some of you suggested, seeing as to the neighbor was heavily implying that we're gay. I'll do it tonight otherwise I'll talk myself out of it again. I will post an update to let you know what happens, eek. If you never hear from me again as assume it went badly and I am consoling myself with cake and watching Brokeback Mountain in floods of tears. She is the dog theft sorry protect her dog. Lol she's playing the long game. This is such a sweet story. You could casually ask what her type is in a partner. And if she's weird about it then quickly recover with a story of how you were recently asked this question and it got you thinking. If she's not weird about it and describes you. Then you know. Even just reading that I got anxious lol. I'm too awkward for that. I'll def keep it in mind for if the film slash TV show idea fails. Thank you. Exclamation mark. Leave a sticky note on her door that says, Are you gay with two checkboxes that say yay or nay, lol. Lol primary school flashbacks right here. You might already be dating and have nothing to worry about. I want an update but I am certain she's into you. If you still want to check if she's gay, you could maybe drop something into a conversation like I wonder if Covid will be better by June. I really want to go to the pride parade again. And see what she says. Already dating would be the most lesbian outcome of all this. Why don't you ask if she has any special plans for Valentine's Day and then kinda work your way in from there. It's a super light topic and easy way to see if there's someone else or she'll suggest you to hang out. I mean we are in a countrywide lockdown so I'm not sure what special plans she could have tbh. Although I guess I could kinda joke about it? Question mark. My mom walked in on me masturbating. Basically what the title says. I thought I locked the door but I didn't. She immediately left and I think she doesn't know that I saw her. I also think that she's crying now? Question mark. I remember having a talk where she told me masturbating is bad and I would understand if you were a boy so I'm super nervous right now. I mean so far she didn't say anything so I guess that's good but I just want to hide under a rock frown. Should I talk to her about this or should I let it go? Also will it be awkward talking to her again forever or just right now? Edit, I think while I was writing in this post in such a hurry I might have remembered my past memory worse than it was. She didn't exactly take me aside and say masturbating masturbating is bad she for some reason thought I was watching porn, I wasn't, and said something about not a boy or not even being 18 yet. This was when I was 12 to 14 and it really hurt seeing her so distressed and disappointed in me. I'm 19 now so maybe that's why 
she's not saying anything, she's never said it directly but I've had other incidents with stuff like this like boys etc. Unfortunately my culture in general is really conservative so it shocked me to know my mom thought the same way as the rest of them. Update, thank you so 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 much to everyone who took their time to reply to this post and give advice. I wanted to say it to everyone individually but I have exams soon so I can't. It really made me feel better. So far I think she didn't realize I noticed her opening the door. All she's done was say in an annoyed voice that I'm always in my room but I think other than that she's okay. I'd now. I think I'll just pretend it never happened and never let this happen again. Pretend it didn't happen. My mom walked in on me when I was 16, it was humiliating and I got a weird sex slash masturbating sex talk from my dad the next morning where he explained nothing is wrong with it and that it's natural, and my mom masturbates too. It was the worst car ride to school, but at least looking back they were trying, right? Looks like your mum has hang ups about sex. It may damage your own views if you interact with her about it. Sex slash masturbation is natural, normal. The awkwardness will pass. Look after yourself. It is perfectly normal. She should have knocked before entering your room, honestly. And the fact that she said she would understand if you were a boy. Come on, that's some BS. Girls masturbate too. Mom, we have the right to explore our bodies just the same. Next time knock or you risk a sneak peek to the show again. Do what you feel is right, but I think you should just let it go. Just the fact that she cried over it tells me it would be an awkward conversation if you brought it up. She sounds like a close-minded human. Hard getting through that stone wall people like that have up in their head. My mom is like that and would have reacted the same as yours. That's what I would do. I would understand if you were a boy WTF, no parent should ever say that. Sorry but your mama is kinda mean. Sexist backslash. My brother's girlfriend tried to beat me up for saying McDonald's is overpriced. So fucking stupid. Like I really can't believe this right now. It sounds fake and I wish it was. But the title says it all pretty much. My brother, 24, started dating this girl. 19, over the summer. I'll call her Rebecca for the sake of this and my brother Josh. So Rebecca and I, 20F, got into a Facebook fight around the election about politics on Facebook. I honestly don't know if this relevant to the story or not just thought I'd say it because she kinda doesn't like me because of it but has been nice to me since then in person when we've seen each other. She's been living with my brother for like two months now. I go over there tonight to see my brother and my dad, they're basically like roommates my brother doesn't like live with my dad because they pay for their own stuff and rent. I'm there for not even 20 minutes probably and Rebecca and Josh are looking up a menu for a food place to get dinner. Josh is like I'm gonna get the chicken burger that comes with bacon on it. And I was like have you tried the buttermilk crispy chicken at McDonald's? It's really good but it's expensive it's like $5.66 and I get it plain. So now we're like talking about McDonald's prices and quality. I guess Rebecca used to work at McDonald's probably when she was like 16. Now she's just a miserable bitch that sits in my brother's room all day for free and can't even vacuum. But anyways, apparently my brother didn't know that they charge extra for like sauce and extra toppings, etc. And I was like yeah they always have and I told a story about over the summer when I got a McFlurry and I asked for extra Oreos and it was almost $5. Mind you I had like $10 to my name BC my work was closed BC COVID and I didn't qualify for unemployment. So I know some of you can relate to the feeling of spending the last of her money on food and then being disappointed when you didn't get what you paid for. So they filled my cup like three quarters honestly maybe even two thirds of the way with ice cream and it straight up looked like vanilla ice cream. And I was like the only one in the drive through so they're not busy they're just lazy in my opinion. So I went inside and I'm like hey do you mind putting more ice cream and Oreos in this? And they grabbed my cup turned around and did that but never said anything and I was like thank you have a nice day and left. 
Now I don't know why that bothered Rebecca so much but she started screaming at me and just telling me I'm wrong that they filled up my stuff enough and can only add so much extra like Rebecca let's be real I've been to McDonald's like 100 times this year probably like I know what the prices were and how much I should be getting. So she keeps yelling and I'm like why are you yelling? And before I know it my brother is holding Rebecca back and yelling at me to leave because she's trying to hit me. I have no idea how this escalated escalated at all, well actually I do, Rebecca started freaking out like a child and then decided the appropriate and necessary thing to do was try to beat up her boyfriend's sister. My brother and I have been super my close our whole lives and are truly like best friends. So the fact that she thinks she can treat me or anyone in our family like that is so baffling to me. Especially when she yells out that they're getting married like okay Rebecca how delusional are you? Another thing I want to add is that Rebecca thinks that she's going to work with children. Don't think someone like that should be around children. I could literally see her killing someone's child after her episode tonight. Should I say anything to my brother about this? Like he needs to break up with her because clearly she's a psychopath or that I literally never speak to him again if he marries her or buys a house with her. Or do I just hope that he breaks up with her before she gets pregnant or something?